There's one thing you can do to tip the scales in your favor. Get better. If your parents didn't warn you why you were growing up, you've probably learned it by now. Life is full of disappointments. We've all had times where we felt sucker punched or pushed aside or ignored altogether. Some days it seems that nothing goes right. We wonder why we even got out of bed. When you're in sales, the disappointments can come fast and furious. A prospect you've pursued for some time finally gives their answer, no. You get hung up on repeatedly while making calls. Your boss reprimands you for not hitting your number. Maybe he or she even threatens to put you on a performance improvement plan, the last chance before you're out on the street. It seems you can't catch a break. Nothing's in your control. Tension grows and soon anger. Finally, you taste the sour bile of bitterness, an ugly brew that skews your view and hardens your heart. Bitterness can easily bubble up when it seems nothing's going your way. Why do others get all the breaks? Why do you work so hard yet nothing goes your way? What did you do to deserve this? It's all just so unfair. Well, your parents might have also told you that life wasn't fair. And it often isn't. But there's one thing you can do to tip the scales in your favor. Get better. That's right. Don't get bitter. Get better. Every setback, roadblock, and disappointment holds the seeds of learning. Think of these as challenges, not threats. Consider all the details. What was the root cause of the outcome? Is there something you're missing? What could you have done differently? How can you ensure it doesn't happen again? When you get down to serious probing self-analysis, and perhaps you ask an outsider, someone you trust for an objective opinion, learning commences. Improvement initiates. This is where better begins. Contrast this with wallowing in bitterness. Does anyone want to be around someone like this? Do you really want to use all your mental bandwidth being angry and resentful? How is this conducive to success? It isn't. And while we're at it, let's drill down further. You're not entitled to anything in life. Did your parents tell you this too? You're not entitled to someone else's money or someone else's belongings or even the luck you believe they always seem to have. You're entitled to what you can earn and achieve through your own hard work, self-discipline, and desire to improve. If you demonstrate these qualities and can get along with others like a relatively civilized person, others will lend a hand. People will want to help you because they recognize you're doing everything possible to help yourself. Does this happen with someone who sulks around, rarely smiles, and gives off negative vibes? We all know the answer. So don't let your disappointments make you bitter. Let them push you to get better and more self-reliant and a contributing member to whatever team you're on. You'll feel infinitely better about yourself and life in general. Plus, mom and dad would be proud of you too.